Recently, games have been so boring. I gotta pay $80 to walk. I gotta pay $80 to talk. I can walk and talk for free on a daily basis. So I came up with a strange and totally unique idea. I'm making a game about a man made entirely out of popcorn. I mean, how did I come up with this idea exactly? Well, I, I didn't. I kind of just use a random object generator to generate it because I'm kind of lazy and I need an idea for a game. I really just want to make a small random game to help me learn the Godot engine, so popcorn it is. And for this game, I'm thinking like a Top Gun shooter because recently I've been playing Hotline Miami and if you know Hotline Miami, you know it's a man that's shooting from a Top Gun perspective. What better way to start my journey than with a tutorial? I used a tutorial from the same guy I used it tutorial from in the last video, all right? Give them some love. I wanted to use the tutorial as the bones for my game because uh, I can't program and then kind of build features on it. So far, all I've got is a basic top-down shooter. You can walk around, move your mouse, look around, shoot at the ops. It's pretty much it. The ops walk forward. It, it's kind of boring and you know, it's it's a basic tutorial game. So let's take this to the next level. So in a top-down shooter game, you're gonna need to manage through different weapons. And I was thinking I would do a different weapon system, kind of like Hotline Miami does it, where it's kind of like you don't really have your own weapon wheel per se you kind of just kill people take their weapons kill other people throw your weapons pick up more weapons kill more people you know how it goes so i thought why not implement this into my top down game so i just went around for a couple hours did a little bit of coding i made an object pickup system so if you walk up to a pickup you can press e and pick it up and then shoot your heart's content and then if you press q you can throw it or drop it i didn't want to program the whole throwing system yet to make the pistol sprite i literally just took an online png of a pistol and made it solid color and I slapped that bad boy into the game and uh, made a little uh, poopy little shitty player sprite without weapons so you can have an idle state and be defenseless. I also created a simple UI so the player can know when their hands are empty and when they're holding an absolute weapon of mass destruction. But what does a weapon of mass destruction need? That's right, ammunition, right? You can't just be firing around all willy-nilly with infinite ammunition. There's just no stakes to that. So I created an ammo system that also saves when you drop a gun. So you can't be cheesing this. When you pick up a gun, it's got the ammo the enemy had. You shoot it away, drop it. You can't just pick it up and restore the ammo. Nah, bro, that's not how it works, you bad little boy. Okay, so now we have a very bare bones stripped down version of Hotline Miami, basically. I can basically put this on Steam. I mean, if you think about it, like, theoretically. Probably time for me to actually make some game graphics and make the game a little bit spicier. I don't really know why, but for some reason I made the enemies construction workers. Well, actually I do know why. Probably because I need them to build the game for me while I can relax and enjoy the sun. <laughs> I was also experimenting with making a crosshair because you can't just have a mouse in the game. That's just unprofessional. Everybody hates mice, bro. Ah, get off of me. Oh my God. But for some reason, the only PNG I had on hand was a burger. I don't know why. This has to be the first game in history to have a burger crosshair, everybody. Give a round of applause. At least my games are unique, I guess. Nobody else got that. You know what else is unique? The fact that you're not subscribed to this channel. Why the hell are you not subscribed to this channel? Like, what the flip, bro? Just hit that button right now or I'm gonna come to your house and flip you. Yeah, I'm gonna flip you. All right, no more funny business. It's time to bring in the star of the show, Popcorn Man himself. Let's bring him to life. So I went on Photoshop, took one of those construction workers I made, put a popcorn PNG on top and called it a day. You know, that's Popcorn Man right there. But where does popcorn come from? Movie theaters. And what are movie theaters? Yes, dark. And what's dark and gloomy? Halloween. What day is it? Halloween. What time is this video out? Probably what after Halloween. So I was playing with the Godot canvas settings. You know, I made it all dark. I add some lights. I added a little flashlight to the character, made it all moody and aesthetic. My favorite change was I added some light and particle effects to the bullets. And oh my God, it looks so much better. Like it actually looks good. Like, like it just, I feel the recoil when I'm clicking the mouse, you know what I'm saying? You might be thinking, this game might be a little bit bare bones. And you're right, that's because I spent over two days on a mechanic that didn't even make it. Rest in peace to the butterball. You're never gonna know what it is. You don't deserve to know what it is, but rest in peace to the butterball. Thank you for watching. I know this video is kind of short. Keep in mind, I was just learning Godot the past month. Next week, Monster Chef is coming back. I swear it's coming back and I'm reworking the whole game. So get ready for devlog two of, two of Monster Chef. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.